Hey, what's going on everyone? Ethan Nader here with Blade RC and welcome to the fourth video of the Blade Fusion 550 build series. In this video, we are gonna be installing the electronics. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get our cyclic servos ready to mount up to the airframe. As you can see here, I have all three cyclic servos laid out in front of me. Now is a good time to get your servo tester in order to center up the cyclic servos so that we can properly install the servo arms at the correct position. I'm gonna be using the Spectrum XBC100 Smart Checker. This battery checker features a built-in servo tester. Go ahead and locate bag A3 where you can find all the linkage balls and then you can locate bag A1 in order to find all the servo arms as well as the screws that are used to install the servo arms onto the servo. Also make sure you have a pair of needle nose pliers as well as a 2mm and 2.5mm hex driver. Once you've gotten your servo arm with your linkage ball installed on the servo, you can go ahead and repeat the process for the remaining two cyclic servos. With the servo arms installed on all three cyclic servos, you can go ahead and locate package A3 where you can find the optional servo mounting plates. These are useful with other servos. If you're running the Super Combo and have the Spectrum H6350 servos, it's not really necessary. And then you can also find the screws that are used to mount these servos up to the bearing blocks on the helicopter in package A3 as well. You are gonna want a two millimeter hex driver in order to mount the servos. With the first cyclic servo mounted up, I wanted to show you all something that I love about the Spectrum H6350. Now, if you've opened up the box on one, you can see that it contains two servo leads, one shorter one and one longer one. As you can see, the shorter ones are perfect to reach the fly barless unit, which is gonna be right here. They're the perfect length on these sides to reach just right here without excess wire. Now, whenever you are mounting the one in the front furthest away, you can attach the longer servo lead in order for it to reach the fly barless unit. It's just awesome that they include two servo leads so then you don't have excess wire when it's unnecessary. With the cyclic servos mounted on the Fusion 550, we can go ahead and install the rotor linkages and the servo linkages, which are all in bag A1. And then bag M1 contains the anti-rotation bracket, which we can also mount as well. And once again, the Fusion 550 quick build kit saves us plenty of time with the linkages already assembled at the correct length.
Now we can install the tail servo. So go ahead and locate your tail servo along with the tail servo mounts, which are in bag M1, along with the servo arm and the screw to install the servo arm onto the servo. Those are both in bag A1. And then bag A3 contains the linkage ball along with the screws in order to mount the servo up to the helicopter. This is also a good time to get out your servo tester once again to center up the servo so we know the correct position to install the servo arm. For installing these parts, you're gonna want to use the two millimeter hex driver along with the 2.5 millimeter hex driver and some needle nose pliers. And with the tail servo mounted up, we can go ahead and install the tail control rod. Make sure you have your 1.5 millimeter hex driver and your ball link pliers. Up next, we can install the fly barless unit. So go ahead and locate the fly barless unit that you're gonna be using along with some mounting tape and then locate package M7 where you can find the plate that the fly barless unit mounts to as well as a two millimeter hex driver in order to install the plate. And the last electronic to install is the ESC. Now there are two ways that you can install the ESC. The first way is directly underneath the battery tray. The second way is for pilots who might fly a Smack 3D or just want better overall airflow to the ESC. So for maximum cooling, you can also install it inside the frame, basically just above this back landing gear, almost up against where the tail servo is. I can show you how to do that way. I can also show you how to install it underneath the battery tray. Basically all you need is a 2.5 mm hex driver as well as a two millimeter hex driver so let's go ahead and show you the first way which is directly underneath the battery tray go ahead and locate package m6 where you can find the battery tray as well as the screws that are used to mount up the esc to the tray
Up next is the alternate way to install the ESC for maximum airflow. With the ESC installed and wired up to the flybarless unit, let's go ahead and clean up all the other wires and hook them up to the flybarless unit. All right, everyone, and with the wiring complete, let's go ahead and finish the Fusion 550 kit by throwing on the main blades and the tail blades. All you need is a three millimeter hex driver as well as a 2.5 millimeter hex driver. You'll also want a pair of needle nose pliers. Let's go ahead and finish up this build. With the main blades and tail blades installed, the Fusion 550 build is complete. Whether you followed along through the build series or if you've built one yourself, hopefully you can see why the Blade Fusion 550 is the perfect kit for a beginner. With the quick assembly head and tail rotor, the Blade Fusion 550 is definitely one of the easiest and most efficient builds you could ever have with an RC helicopter. And whether you're an intermediate RC helicopter pilot looking for their first kit to build, or if you're a seasoned RC flyer looking to shred the sky with a high performance helicopter, the Blade Fusion 550 will get you up in the air in no time. Thank you all so much for watching this video and following along the Blade Fusion 550 build series. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more content on the Blade Fusion 550 coming soon as well as some other Blade RC content. We'll see you guys later.